Hey there, my name's Julian and welcome to Memberscript 134. And in this one, what we're doing is scrolling to the top of the tab section when the tabs have been changed. And this is something that I remember struggling with back in the day when I was working with clients. When you have any sort of long tab section like this with a sticky tabs menu, and then you switch the tab, it just switches the tab. So then the user has to scroll up to the top and it's, it's, it's a whole thing. And if you're watching this, you probably get that. So anyways, first of all, let me show you what this script does. So here, as you can see, we're scrolled down to the bottom and let's switch to tab two. As you can see, it scrolls to the top. Let's switch to tab one, scrolls to the top every single time, no matter what, even if I'm just a little bit scrolled down, it will scroll to the top all the way scrolled down. It'll scroll to the top does not matter how long this section is. So with that being said, if this is what you're after, I will now show you how to do it in Webflow. And good news, it is very easy. It's simply one attribute and one script. So first things first, you're gonna need the script for member script 134. Here it is in the demo project. So if you're watching this from the member stack site, click the next tab to get the code. If you're watching this from the YouTube channel, then go to the link in the description and that will be the link where you can get the code. And as always, it's best practice to only include this script where you need it, not to include it on every single page, unless you actually need it on every single page. So that is it. Once you add that script, just go to your tab section and add the attribute to the tabs element itself, as we can see here. Mine is container small is the class, but the one above the menu and the content and add the attribute ms dash code dash tab dash scroll dash top. And then the value is the offset in pixels. So what this means is if you have it set to zero, it is going to line up exactly like this right now. Like it's going to go the top of the section to the top of the tabs. Now, as you can see here in my example, it doesn't do that. It goes 25 pixels above, just gives it some more space. Especially if you have a sticky nav bar, this is really important. You don't want your tabs menu to be hidden behind the nav bar or anything like that. So that number that you indicate there is just the scroll offset. You could do negative numbers, you could do positive numbers, you could do whatever you want. That's just gonna set the offset. So that is it. I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, let me know in the member stack 2.0 Slack in the member scripts chat channel. I'll talk to you soon and have a wonderful day.